Hey, what's going on everybody? I wanted to do a closer look of a very popular Deadpool STL going around. This file is from do3d.com. I'm going to show you a quick look at the final print and a few things that I think make this such an exceptional design. First of all, the file offers a version of the mask that has a fabric texture. The texture prints beautifully, and as a bonus, it hides layer lines. If you're looking to do an actual fabric, there is a plain shell version as well. The design comes with slots for 8x2mm magnets for a glue and velcro free fit. Straight out of the printer, this helmet fits together like a glove. Basically what you're looking at here is almost zero post-processing on the actual red shell. The mask also comes with five different eyes that express different emotions. You can have a happy Deadpool, an angry Deadpool, a shocked Deadpool, you get the idea. I've only printed three of the five. I'll probably print the rest later on, but I just wanted enough to kind of give a clear example of how easy it is to swap in and out. I printed all the helmet pieces on my Ender 5 Plus at 100%. Then I printed the swappable eyes on my resin printer. The actual white part of the eyes, I use old stockings. You can just cut them, glue them right in, and they stay great. And you can see through it pretty well. I will say, if you're looking at this helmet for an adult, I printed mine at 100%, and it is a snug fit. I'm about 5'10", 145 pounds, and I can get it on, and it fits, but there's a little bit of feeling like it's crushing my head. So you might want to scale it up or just, you know, actually do some measurements. I just wanted to print it to see how close it would be. I personally think I went a little too bright on my red. I used eSun's PLA Plus Fire Engine Red. If I print this one again, I'll probably look for a darker cherry red. Going back to the texture pattern for a minute, it can be a pro and con in some areas. While the side printed incredibly well, I was stuck with a couple of rough spots you can see by the chin. I could sand it, but in this case, sanding it would make it stand out more than less since I'm not planning on doing any other paint. Like the idea of the fabric texture is just to print it and then it's done. So you can probably play around with different orientations. Um, it took me a couple to find the best for my side ones. You can see here that I decided just going completely vertical as possible gave me the best results. I did all my slicing in Cura. I start off with the super quality as a base and then I went through and looked at the printer speed for instance and for me the printer speed was way too fast. I went ahead and knocked it down to 40 millimeters a second. I know for some of you and your printer's capabilities, you might be thinking, wow, that's slow. And that might be true. Your printer might be able to knock it out of the park at 80 or even faster, and that's great. I'm on the Ender 5 Plus, and I've had a lot of success sitting around 40. But if you're the kind of person who likes to live on the edge and just crank that speed up, then by all means, go for it. For the most part, tree supports did fine. I had minimal areas where the supports gave me a little bit of trouble when cleaning it off, but for the most part, it came out pretty clean. The best thing I can suggest is you might have to play around with different print orientations and uh, figure out which way is going to print the cleanest on your setup. On the Ender 5 Plus, I was able to fit all the pieces on. I didn't have to slice anything else. Really, the highlights of this mask for me are the texture pattern, obviously, that I've gone on and on about, the magnet slots, the swappable eyes. Uh, it all just fits together so nice. Just double check that size on it. If you try out this print, let me know. Let me know what you think. If you're running into any issues or anything, feel free to drop me a comment. I'll reply to you as soon as possible. I'll put a link to everything below if you want to find any of the things that I use. Like I said, I might try to go for a little bit of a darker red if you can find one, but I used eSun's PLA Plus Fire Engine Red. So there you go. That's the Deadpool mask. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks, guys.